Hello, my name is Jennifer Steinhardt, archivist for the National Museum of the American Sailor. And I'm Samantha Bellis, the Collection Manager. And welcome to Collections Conversations, where we discuss issues related to preservation and the history of the American enlisted sailor. Today, Sam and I thought we would go over the beginning of our donation process by covering our donation proposal form. That's really the first step in our process, and it is the first way that you're going to contact Jennifer and I. You can find it on our website, or if you reach out, we are happy to send you a copy. So let's get started. Okay, so you'll see that we've pulled up our donation proposal form. At the top is a privacy notice, which basically tells you that we're going to protect your information that you give us. And one thing to note is this form is fillable on a computer, so which is what we're going to do now. If you want to collapse that arrow, if it comes to you and it looks like this, if you just hit that little arrow on the right hand side, it'll expand and let you type in the document. Now we have a quick explanation of our donation process and then we'll get to the form. So you just need to fill out your information first. Samantha, you're going to be our donor. And we ask for your physical address, your phone, and your email so we can one mail you paperwork and two contact you if you don't send the paperwork back. Correct. It's also a way for us to reach out if we have questions about the sailor or about the items or if we um, are even interested if it's you yourself the sailor donating the piece maybe interviewing you. After your contact information, there is a section for you to fill out any information you know about the sailor connected to any item that you're donating. It's possible that you won't know anything at all. That's fine. You can just write unknown. But it is important to note that if the more you write, the more likely we are able to use whatever you're donating for research or exhibit purposes. So we're going to use a piece that's actually in our collection as a found and collection piece, but it has a lot of the pertinent information that we are always looking for. Well, we have a name. And while we don't know yet when she's born because we haven't researched her, we do know that she was here at Great Lakes in 1945. So that's not an enlistment or discharge date. So we'll just write circa 1945 Oh, in her enlistment. And in demographics, looking at it, we uh, do not know what her religion or sexuality or ethnicity is, but we do know she is Caucasian and she is female. We don't know her discharge date, but we do have her Navy serial number. And one thing uh, we do want to point out is in Later years, we do know that the Navy has switched to using Social Security numbers, um, and it is completely fine to leave your serial number off if you were in during the time of Social Security numbers. We know she was at Great Lakes, so we are going to put that down. And that is all the information we know. The next page is where you will describe all the items that you are donating. So we just have one item. It's an ID badge from U.S. Naval Training center great lakes and again we know it's about 1945 and looking at it i would say the condition is it's pretty good for the id badges from that time period good we've got a little damage but honestly it's in good condition going on you'll see that we answer some of the most common questions we receive about donating historical materials and that is pretty much the first form and your first contact with us. And throughout this whole process, you'll either be in touch with myself or Jennifer. And if you ever have any questions, we are here to answer and help. We hope that's helpful. And that's it for this edition of Collections Conversations. We'll see you next time.